All right, swim jig fishing. It is so much fun. Now, as you're getting started, you want to know why do I need different sizes? You're going to be able to fish three to at least two or three different sections of the water column based on the weight of the swim jig that you have. So that's what we're going to talk about today is why do I need different weights on my swim jigs. Uh, now briefly, I'm going to go over the setup. Uh, this is a bait caster setup. I've got a bait caster, a seven foot, maybe seven, three, seven, four, kind of at the most. Uh, medium heavy. You don't want a real heavy action rod. I see people trying to throw swim jigs on flipping sticks. Don't do it. Not recommended. You'll lose fish. You don't have a very good hookup ratio and you're not going to be very accurate casting. Uh, but then you're going to have high speed reel. I recommend at least an eight to one. If you can find faster, that's cool. That's cool. Uh, but definitely at least seven or eight to one, eight to one preferably for me. And then I'm going to fish it mostly on fluorocarbon. I'm going to use Sunline Shooter 14 or 16 pound test most of the time. May jump up to 18 if I'm going to be fishing around a lot of cover. You can go to braided line, either 30 or 50, kind of based on the cover that you're fishing. Um, you, but don't change your rod. Keep that same rod. And that's kind of the system. Um, we'll kind of go through it. The lighter your line, the more action your swim jig is going to have. Just kind of throw that out there, just like a crankbait or anything else. Uh, so uh, that's why I like the 14 or 16 pound a lot of times when I'm fishing more open water kind of stuff. But three different sizes. Now that you kind of understand that concept, uh, like on the, on the mini swim jigs, we've got a 3 16 a 5 16 and then a 7 16 Now that 3 16 uh, a, lot, a lot of companies make a quarter ounce, uh, being that this is a mini, it has a finer cut skirt that's going to act more like a quarter ounce jig head. That's going to stay up there in that top foot, foot and a half of the water column. So if you're trying to fish it over top of grass, or if you just want to keep that bait real close to the surface, and that is the deal sometimes. You want to keep that bait real close to the surface. That's when you're going to want that 3 16 uh, You put a, a trailer on it like uh, Missile Baits um, Mini D Chunk. You could put, you know, whatever your favorite trailer is something that kicks more than likely or you could go the other way and you can go with like a minnow style like shockwave 425 you could put something on it like that that kicks like a boot tail kytex whatever you want stick something on there that that kind of swims versus kicks sometimes they want one sometimes they want the other uh, but your that 3 16 is going to stay real high in the water column then the the 5 16 is probably the most versatile that's going to give you a little more weight you're going to be able to cast a little bit further and then you can work the bait faster keep it up there in that top portion of the water column if you want to but the bait's going to be moving faster but you can also slow down just a little bit and get that bait in that two to three foot range down just a little bit further you know a lot of times when that swim jig is just out of sight just not quite in that top part of the water column it seems like the fish bite it a lot better that's a little pros tip for you right there. Don't always keep it in that super high part of the water column. Sometimes you want to let it drift down a little bit, not necessarily on the bottom, but somewhere in that two to three foot range can, can definitely get strikes. Uh, we're not going to go over the whole system because there's a couple different methods of fishing a swim jig. We can cover that on another video. But then you've got the 7 16 And this is, this is going to be close. 7 16 is almost a half. A half ounce is 8 16 So it's really close to a half ounce weight. Uh, with, again, with that fine cut skirt, it probably acts more like a half ounce swim jig that you may be used to in other, other brands. But that that's heavier swim jig, that's what you're going to want when you're fishing uh, a little bit deeper. Let's say you're fishing open water and you're fishing around grass that's three to five feet under the surface. You're going to throw that and just kind of reel it along until that, that swim jig hits the grass and you can kind of pop it. Or if you want to fish it in that two to three foot water column, a little bit higher, you're going to be, you're going to be working it a little bit faster. So if you want more of that reaction strike, you're going to be fishing that 17 16 a little bit faster. And just to kind of give you a quick overview on the colors, there's basically three categories. I like dark, I like shad color, and 
I like uh, natural. So natural for me is green pumpkin. That is definitely one of my go-tos. I always have green pumpkin, uh, a white, and June bug. Those are like probably my top three. Green pumpkin is my natural uh, color. You can, you can use a bunch of different trailers with it. You can use darker trailers with it and kind of give it a darker look. You can use green pumpkin and really get natural with it. You could you know, really mix it up and go with like shad flash on the back, like something brighter and get more of that uh, flash, but natural. Uh, so a lot of stuff you can do with the green pumpkin. And then you, when you go to the uh, shad colors, uh, pearl white is really hard to beat under low light conditions. Uh, I really, really like that pearl white. It just has a lot of pop to it. Um, I just caught so many fish on pearl white in the swim jig. If or anytime around the shad spawn, what pearl white is just absolutely death on them. I mean, just absolutely torches them. And then uh, we've got bone, which is a variation of that right there, that pearl white. That bone is a very good color uh, when you're looking at more like that tannic water, maybe water with a little bit of stain. It's got gold eyes versus silver eyes. Just gives them a little bit different look. And then, as I mentioned before, June bug, absolutely one of my favorites, one of my go-tos. I like the contrast yellow eye. I think that's a big deal. Uh, that June bug, really good around, you know, that Florida tannic water when they want something darker. Uh, it is really, really good around grass. I don't know why, but June bug with that, with that bright eye seems to really, really get bites around grass. I'm talking from Florida to South Carolina to Virginia to Maryland. I mean, wherever you are, you know, swimming that around uh, clumps of grass can definitely, definitely get you bit. And then we've got a new player on the block here. We've got Lava Crawl. It's, it's that red and orange, very bright, very new. I mean, everybody's been fishing the fire crawl, jackhammers, and all that. That craze is just phenomenal. Nobody makes a swim jig in this color, and so we did. I don't have a ton of experience with this color, but this is another color to add to the arsenal. I'm guessing pre-spawn is going to be really, really, uh, really good with that color right there. I'm definitely going to have one tied on this coming year, but that kind of gives you the reason of why we have three different sizes, how to utilize them. If you're fishing a lot of real shallow water you know, over tops of grass, that's the 3 16 maybe 5 16 best all around 5 16 And then if you're fishing a little bit deeper, a little bit offshore, uh, a little bit deeper grass, uh, maybe you want to get that even down in the 5, 6, 7 foot range, you let that 7 16 go to the bottom and then start reeling it along the bottom. And that's why you need three different colors and you got the different choices of, uh, of three different sizes and you have three different, plenty of choices of colors. So go out there, have fun, catch a lot of fish on that swim jig and be sure to tag missile baits if you're using a mini swim jig.